Our Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for this day. Thank you that you say where two or three are gathered in your name, you are in their midst. We welcome you, Abba Father, uh, Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the wisdom of the Father. We welcome you. We welcome your angels, heavenly cloud of witnesses. And uh, we just uh, surrender this time to you. And uh, we just ask that everything that you prepared before the foundation of the world for this time, that you would release, uh, release it. And uh, just please pray after me. Abba Father, I open up my heart to you. I ask that you would come and speak to me through your word, through your Holy Spirit and come and change my life forever. Uh, today through this message, in your wonderful name, I ask that. Amen. Amen. This is a message that changed my life forever. So what I'm going to share with you uh, this morning is not a teaching. It's not something in my head. It's my lifestyle. And uh, um, it, it uh, changed my life forever. And it is still changing my life as I'm practicing it. There's a new dimension of love that I want to share with you this morning. Um, you know, it's easy to say, brother, I love you, sister, I love you. You know, and then in your heart and in your thought, you've got all these things, you know. <laughs> yeah, that guy did that to me and that brother stabbed me in the back or something like that. But um, how do we measure our love? And how, how do we really love someone, especially those who have hurt us the most and wounded us the most? Or betrayed us the most what is the measure what is the biblical measure now the Bible clearly give us the the, the biblical measure uh, of love in 1 Corinthians 13 Amen. thank our father for 1 Corinthians 13 uh, uh, I try to pray it, uh, every day when I feast on the word I pray 1 Corinthians 13 and I ask our Father's love to increase in me uh, to, uh, uh, for Him and for all people. Okay, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4. It says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. I'm reading out of the New King James here. Does not be... Amen. Does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil. Amen. Amen. What? It doesn't say does no evil. It doesn't say uh, speaks no evil. It says love thinks no evil. True biblical love is directly related to our thought life. Um, so today we're going to share, going to shine the spotlight of the word on our thoughts and what it means love thinks no evil. Amen! Amen. In 2 Corinthians 10, it speaks from verse 4, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Uh, verse 5, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Amen! Doesn't say bringing some thoughts, or, or most of it, or 99,999%. It says bringing every thought, every thought, into captivity to the obedience of Yeshua. Um, so, from today on, in a whole new way, we must become aware and totally watchful more than ever over every single thought that enters into our mind. Every single thought. Now, what changed my life completely 
is um, at one stage I was uh, uh, feasting with some dear beloved uh, friends of mine on this scripture in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 to 5. While we were feasting, someone had a vision, a clear vision. And they saw, <laughs> they saw these two armies, darkness and light. Two armies um, clashing, fighting against one another. And in the middle there was a born again believer. A born again believer. Okay? And there was this clash of darkness and light. Two armies clashing against them. There was the whole war. And this born again believer was in the middle. And this whole war of darkness and light was over one single thought. One single thought. And there was this war. Because the enemy was trying to bring this one thought into this born again believer's mind. One thought. And the angels were fighting against it. One negative thought. One thought of worry. One thought of stress. What negative thought about any brother or sister or your wife or those who are closest to you. The whole war was over one single thought. And this born again believer was in the middle. And there was a clash of darkness and light. Swords. And the moment when this born again believer accepted this thought from the enemy. They saw like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember that uh, 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 game Pac-Man? You know, those who are uh, of the older generation will remember it. When this born-again believer accepted this one negative evil thought of the enemy, they saw these like these Pac-Man demons just coming in together with that one single thought, negative thought that this born-again believer allowed. And that, I tell you, opened my eyes. And may it open our eyes. And uh, that changed my whole uh, uh, idea, concept, revelation of how important our thoughts are. So the way I thought in the past, I thought, oh, you know, we must take our thoughts and we, make it, we, we must make it obedient to Christ, to Yeshua. So we must take our thoughts and when the enemy comes in with his thoughts, we must Take it and make it obedient. But as we feasted on this verse, I saw this is not what it says here. It says here, bringing every thought into captivity. It doesn't say, and make it obedient to Yeshua. It doesn't say that. It says, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Yeshua. Now that makes it much easier. It doesn't say, I must take every thought and try to make it obedience. No. It just said, it just said, it just says, yes, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Yeshua. So you must just go to Him and give that thought to Him. And then He will deal with it. You know. It is make it uh, 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 bringing every thought captive to His obedience. To the obedience of Yeshua. You just bring that thought to Him. And he is well able to deal with it. Amen. Glory. <laughs> uh, thank goodness, you know. So that takes all the pressure off of ourselves. Of we have to now struggle and make every thought obedient. No, 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 no. When the enemy comes with his thoughts, you just, whatever thought he comes with, that is, uh, you just take that thought to Yeshua. And you just say, you deal with that. And he is well, is he able to deal with every negative thought that the enemy brings in your mind? Amen! Amen. <laughs> Glory! And as we were continuing to feast, and it comes, it comes out of the feasting on the word that this revelation comes. Because it says, taste and see. As we feast, then our eyes open and we start to see and we get revelation. So as we were feasting, then I just was praying in my heart and I say, Abba Father, there's got to be a practical way, a practical easy way that we can deal with these thoughts that the enemy 
bombard us with. There's got to be a practical, easy, easy way to deal with it. And then in my spirit, I just saw that uh, the thoughts of our Father towards us is like, the best way to explain this is like the Niagara Falls. Okay? We heard it, our brother said last week, he shared with us about Psalm 139, verse 17 to 18. It says, How precious also are your thoughts to me. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. Amen. So our Father's thoughts towards us, millions, trillions of thoughts, they are more than the sand. That is His thoughts towards us. And all those thoughts, there's not one single negative thought towards us. Because He's love. <laughs> and His essence is love. And it says love thinks no evil. So He cannot, he cannot even think evil towards us. So these uh, 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 millions and trillions of thoughts, and what it is like, it is uh, that's, why, uh, that's why it says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 to 14, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Amen! The thoughts to prosper you, to bless you, to give you a future and a hope. That is his thoughts. His thoughts that he's thinking towards us. And it's so much. It's millions, trillions of them. It's like the Niagara Falls. So just imagine in your eyes, with the eyes of your heart, your, the eyes of your spirit, the Niagara Falls. Uh, 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 and this is Abba Father. He has these thoughts towards us. Millions and trillions of them. And uh, 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 not one single one is evil. So, so then I just realized, hey, it's very easy. When the enemy comes in with these thoughts, but bombs you with thoughts of stress, worry, finances, but especially when someone has hurt you, or wounded you, or betrayed you, maybe your, those, the closest brothers or sisters, maybe your husband, maybe your wife has betrayed you, and the enemy wants to uh, cause us to take offense. So when he comes with these thoughts toward us, the only thing that you must do right at that moment, you must just see with the eyes of your spirit, the eyes of your heart, these Niagara Falls. And you must just say, Oh, my Father, I'm just running zhoo, underneath your Niagara Falls of your thoughts towards me, but also your thoughts toward that person. Because Abba Father's thoughts uh, uh, towards all people, He is love, and love thinks no evil. A brother had once a testimony of, he was praying a very dear brother that, uh, that walks a very humble and close walk. And then he had a vision, and Yeshua showed him a vision of this lady. And he, he, uh, Yeshua asked him, what do you think of this lady? And um, then he said, oh, I'm very thankful that you ask my opinion. Because she's the number one uh, uh, backstabber, you know, in the congregation. Or she's the one that starts the gossip. Or she's the one that backstabs or gossip or brings the division. Or she's the one that starts the negative uh, uh, talk or whatever. And then he said, I'm very glad <laughs> that you are asking my opinion about her. And then Yeshua uh, told his brother, let me show you how I look at her. And the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, he appeared before this brother. And then he stepped into him. And then he turned around inside of him. He could feel Yeshua turning around inside of him. And then he started to have the thoughts what Yeshua has towards this sister. And, and Yeshua saw the beauty of her spirit. And Yeshua saw the great calling that he has on her life. And Yeshua saw the potential that she has and the great plans that he has for her. And there was all these wonderful thoughts, not one negative thought towards that sister. Now I just want to make it clear of course, when we sin, our Father knows when we sin and He sees sin as it is. 
But because he is love and he thinks no evil, he looks at our spirit and he looks at the beauty of our spirit and he sees us and he knows the thoughts that he has towards us and he, and he sees the potential and how he created our spirit. Not looking at the flesh uh, 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 part, but he looks at our spirit. And then, that was how Yeshua looked at this lady. Only good thoughts, only wonderful thoughts. And then he said, this is how I want you to look to all your brothers and sisters. Especially those who have wounded you the most. Those who have betrayed you the most. Those who have backstabbed you the most. Especially towards them. So, so, so this uh, uh, waterfall, this Niagara waterfalls uh, of Abba Father's thoughts towards every person. That he created. There is beauty in every person. And love thinks no evil. So the moment when the enemy comes with these thoughts. The only thing that you must do is just run into this Niagara Falls. Of Abba Father's thoughts toward that person. And just say, Father, just give me your thoughts. Show me how you are thinking. Let me see the beauty of their heart. Let me see the beauty of their spirit. And stay there under those waterfalls. The Bible students, whatever, say, well, where is that? Where's the chapter and verse? <laughs> In the Bible, about these uh, waterfalls. In Psalm 42, the Amplified Bible says, beautifully, it says, Roaring deep calls unto roaring deep. And then, uh, but here it says, deep calls unto deep. At the noise of your waterfalls. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hey. At the noise of your waterfalls. Your is with a capital letter. Abba Father. And he doesn't just say waterfall. Singular. I mean there are many waterfalls. Because he has wonderful thoughts towards every person. Every nation. He has the, uh, 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 wonderful. So here it says deep calls unto deep. At the noise of your waterfalls. Amen. All your waves and billows, or your oceans. <laughs> so that's where, you know, the, my friends know me. I don't love them in streams and in trickles, but I love them with oceans of love. So all your billows and your waves, <laughs> that's, you know, I even discovered that in the sea there are waves, and all your billows and waves have gone over me. Amen! Glory! Hey! So we ran and we stayed under these waterfalls of our father's thoughts. Okay, now practically those people that have hurt you and wounded you the most, you run and uh, 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 say, our father, wh how, uh, what are you thinking towards them? How are you thinking towards them? But also towards yourself. You know, we can condemn ourselves also a lot. We've got to find our father's thoughts toward ourselves. So we ran there and we stayed there. And then... Um, we ask Abba Father, show, show us how, how these waterfalls look like. And as we stayed there, they started to see visions of this water. But, ugh, but it was water, but it was uh, uh, also mingled with crystals and diamonds and rubies. It was these thoughts, wonderful, beautiful thoughts. Water, but very fine crystal and diamonds and rubies. And we could stand there and just experience it and let it, uh, let it uh, fall over us. And then as they were seeing this, I told them, Hey, ho, uh, this uh, uh, takes us right to uh, Revelation chapter 22. Amen. Amen. And it says, and he showed me, verse 1, a pure river of water of life, clear, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of Elohim and of the Lamb. So uh, clear as crystals. And then he speaks of the tree of life. And on every side uh, uh, were the leaves of, for the healing of the nations. Verse 3. And there shall be no more curse. But the throne of Abba Father and of the Lamb shall be in it. In the water. And his servant shall serve him there in the water. Hallelujah. Then ye, they shall see his face there in the water. Hallelujah. So then I realized, wow, you know, it speaks here, clear as crystal. And this is what they saw. They saw these waterfalls and of our father's thoughts. And it was like water, but crystal and diamonds and, 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 and precious stones. 
And then as we, as we tarried there under this waterfall, you know, and uh, we stayed there, and then we, you know, ask our Father, you can think of the person who hurt you the most, who wounded you the most. You run under that waterfall, but stay there, you know. And still you start to experience our Father's thoughts towards that person. How He feels about them. And then, you know, we've got to realize in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19, it says uh, uh, we are a, 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 a temple of Holy Spirit. But your spirit, when it is joined with Holy Spirit, is so big. You are not just a temple, you are a city also. Your spirit is huge. It's like a city. And then they saw, as we stayed under this waterfalls of Abba Father's thoughts of love, then the next moment they saw the city of the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven over our thoughts. The city of the new Jerusalem. How in the world is that possible? How is that possible? And then, you know, if we just go a few verses back from where he speaks of this river, it says here um, in Revelation 21 verse 9, and he said, Come, I will show you the bride of the Lamb's wife. Beloved people, this is how we become the bride. It's in our thinking, it's in our thoughts. Hallelujah. And he carried um, uh, 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 me away in the spirit. And uh, he showed me uh, the great city, the holy Jerusalem, having the glory of our Father. And her light was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Amen! Hallelujah! And the, verse 18, and the, whoo, now I can start to dance. And the construction of the wall was of jasper, and the city was pure gold like clear glass. And the foundation of the city were adorned with all kind of precious stones. Amen. The first was jasper, sapphire, chalcedony, emerald, uh, 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 sardonic, sardius, topaz, uh, uh, amethyst, all these things. And then I realized, wow, when we go and we stand under our Father's uh, waterfall of thoughts, and we stay there long enough, then literally His protection, He comes to, it becomes like a city, a wall of protection over our thoughts, over our heart, over our mind. And the longer we stay there, that is how, one of the shortest ways that we can become the bride of Yeshua. Amen! Hallelujah! Woo! Man, I can start to dance now. Because, because you know, uh, 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 we think, Right through the day, we are thinking constantly. You know, we are thinking, we have thoughts. And uh, uh, instead of waiting for your quiet time in the morning, once you go there and, 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 and go under those waterfalls uh, of our Father's thoughts and stay there and just think uh, 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 His thoughts about yourself and what other people, that is how we become. The, that is one of the quickest ways that we can become the bride of Yeshua. Amen! And that is what it means in 1 Corinthians 13, where it says, love thinks no evil. Amen! <laughs> and then it goes on in 1 Corinthians 13, verse, 17, verse 7, and it says in the Amplified Bible, it says, love is ever ready to believe the best of every person. Its hopes are fearless under all circumstances and it endures everything without weakening. Love never fails. Amen. Amen. But it says love is ever ready to believe the best. And you know what our Father showed me? He showed me when you're thinking good thoughts about another person, then you're still in the outer court with your thinking. Because the outer court is good, the holy place is better, but the holiest of holies is best. That is the best. And it says love is ever ready to believe the best of every person. Amen. Of every person. Of Zuma. Of, 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 of Malema. Of, 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 of every person. You know, and that is what real repentance is. And we're going to get to that just now. Repentance, uh, uh, our Father's been, Holy Spirit has been showing you repent. But repentance in the Greek, it means to change your mind, to change the way you think. 
It doesn't mean to be in a hole for three days and then after three days you, you're still in that hole. It means to return to the pent. The pent is the penthouse. The penthouse is the top house, the best house. So it is return to the best way of thinking. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Hey. Hallelujah. And, and love is ever ready to believe the best of every single person. Hallelujah. And that is why it says uh, in Proverbs 23 verse 7. Um, uh, where do we think? We think in our heart. And the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so easy. It's in our heart that we think. The enemy comes and puts his thoughts, but we think in our heart. And that is why the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so easy, not so will he be or might he be, so easy. Amen. Amen. Woo. And I just want to, I just want to, I just want to end with this, that our father has his thoughts. But the enemy also has his thoughts. <laughs> his thoughts towards you and his thoughts towards other people. And his thoughts is also like a waterfall. Yes. You've got to get this. But it's like a waterfall of vomit. Okay? That's what his thoughts is towards you and other people. So you choose under which waterfall do you stand. And then you realize that your mind, your thoughts become a trading floor. Amen. It can be either a trading floor of the enemy when you think his bad thoughts towards that brother or sister or your wife or whatever that has hurt you the most. Or when you stand on our Father's waterfall, then it becomes a trading floor for heaven, for the city of the new Jerusalem to come down and for our Father to release his love towards you, through you towards uh, uh, all people. Amen. Glory. Hey. I want us to just get practical. So I want each one of you to stand up now. There is so much, but if you can just get this revelation of love thinks no evil. And I want us to do just a prophetic action. Um, just see with the eyes of your spirit, the eyes of your imagination, the eyes of your spirit, the eyes of your heart. Just see this waterfall, this Niagara Falls waterfall of Abba Father's thoughts towards you. Okay, we're just going to do uh, it towards you. Just see this waterfall and on a countdown of it's a new beginnings, maybe I'm going to have a countdown. And on zero, I want each one of you to just take a step forward. That's it. And just say, Oh, Father, we just gonna, I'm just going to step underneath your waterfalls of your thoughts of love towards me, of how you think about me, and your thoughts of love towards me. We have to experience this. This is experiential. And we have to come to a place where we make that our dwelling place. Okay. I first want us to repent. And you just repent after me. Our Father, we repent. Our Father, we repent. Of, every thought, of every single thought. In all our lives. In all our lives that, we ever thought, that we ever thought. Or entertained. Or entertained. That was not of you. That was not of you. About ourselves. About ourselves. About those closest to us. Those closest to us. About those who have hurt and wounded at us the most. But those who hurt and wounded us the most. Forgive us. Forgive us. We 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 repent with oceans of repentance. We repent of oceans of repentance. We ask for oceans of forgiveness. We ask for oceans of and we ask for oceans of your yes. blood, Yeshua. We ask for oceans of your blood, Yeshua. To come and wash us clean now. Wash us clean. From every wrong thought that we have ever entertained. Every wrong thought that we have ever entertained. And we receive your forgiveness. And though our sins be as scarlet, it will be white as snow. Scarlet is as white as snow. Okay, so. Amen. So. We're just going to count, count down from eight because this is a new beginning. Let me tell you, you can build your life on this. 
Amen. You've got and our father yes. told me for the next 21 days. Yes. When you walk out here, just say for the next 21 days, I'm going to dwell under these waterfalls. Yes. Of your thoughts towards me, but also those around me, my wife, my family, those who have hurt me, those who have uh, betrayed me the most. This will change your life more than few things ever will. Amen. So we're going to have a counter from 8. is the number of new beginnings because today is a new beginning for each one of us when mm. we put this to practice yes. in our lives. Thank you, Father. Just see with the eyes of your spirit. Thank you for your waterfall. And uh, just on a countdown from eight, we're going to step underneath your waterfall of thoughts towards me mm. and, 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 yes. and my family, but specifically Rabba towards me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, just stand there. Yes. Just stand there and receive it. Just oh, drink it. Thank you, Lord. Just you don't you don't thank have to you, see. You, uh, just experience it. Just with the eyes of, of yes. your spirit. It is like we receive yes. forgiveness. We just say, Yeshua, yes. forgive us, and we receive it yes. by faith. Just 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 oh, receive by faith you, this waterfall. Let this waterfall take of take our it, Father's take it, take thoughts it, take it, take it. towards you. Just yes. wash over you. Just stand yes. there. Just just thank just you, let Father. it wash over you. Praise just just the drink it in and he Hallelujah. says in his word he says my thoughts toward yes, you are more us, than the Lord, sand I know the thoughts that I wash, think towards you uh, uh, to prosper you to give you a future and a hope just stand there and receive yes. it and drink it in let it just come into your being let it just come into your entire being just drink it yes. in receive it in receive it in receive it in receive it in hallelujah yes. hallelujah, hallelujah. And then let us end off with the last one is just think of that person oh, that has hurt you, you and wounded yes. you the most in your life. Hallelujah. Th that person who has hurt yes. you the most, wounded you the most, betrayed you. It could be close family. It could be a brother or a sister, whatever. Just think of that person. And Father, we just forgive us you, for every negative thought that we have thought towards that person. And on the countdown of eight, I want you to step underneath that waterfall of Abba's Father's thoughts yes. towards that person. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Just take another step forward. Hallelujah. Oh, just stand there. Father, thank you, Father. We release oceans of forgiveness. Yes. Towards that person, oceans of forgiveness, you, oceans of your love, yes, oceans Lord, of forgiveness. Is, yes, you, wash us, us give us your thoughts, us. show us the beauty of the spirit, show us the beauty us of, of the blessing. heart, show, show us, us your destiny for that person, show, show us how you see them. Thank you, love Thank thinks you, no evil. Thank you, Lord, Father. Love you, is ever ready to believe the best of every person and let place. from this day on we only think the best of that person and just think your thoughts hallelujah and let us become not an accuser but let us become an intercessor let us stand underneath that waterfall and start to pray and intercede yes. for them until Thank you the transform them into your image and father i just ask that you would seal it off to everyone that's here now Father, I ask that that heavenly, uh, the new Jerusalem of the city, of your thoughts, to be the bride of your thoughts, would just come over everyone. Father, and that you Thank would come you and Lord. seal this off by your spirit, and that this would change our lives yes. forever. Father, for the next Praise 21 days, let us yes. make our dwelling place underneath that waterfall. Mm. Let us live there, your thoughts toward us towards our wives, our children, those closest to us. Yes. And let us make Amen. that our dwelling place Amen. until you transform us to become that bride, spotless, blameless, without Amen. spot or wrinkle. Amen. In the name of Adonai Yeshua, our Lord Jesus Christ, Adonai Yeshua, we thank you.